I'm feeling pretty stupid because the only thing that Riot only fixed Sona is her visual update and her boob. Welcome to League of Legends How to Actual Play Support Spotlight featuring Sona, the maven of the string. Before the video, I just want to say that I'm really sorry because I was upload any video in month because I'm really a busy man. Uh, but hey, don't worry now because I'm back. I'm gonna make a League of Legends video every week. Yay! So let's go with the first video of the new series that I'm gonna do is how to support. Many people are gonna say, why do you have to make a series about support? How about top, mid, ADC, jungle, or some shit? And the answer is all because I suck. I suck at those roles, I'm not good at last hitting, I'm not interesting into killing people. And I like to help people out. And that, that's it. Don't ask any more questions. Let's just step in, in the video. Uh, if you want to learn how to play Sona, you need to know about her. We're going to learn about her lore and we're going to move into gameplay. And by the way, I'm really sorry because I wasn't upload for months. All because my family is loud and I'm trying to think about se new series of gameplay. So now I have one, so don't worry about it anymore. So Sona was born in Ionian. She was found on top of a musical instrument and in front of an adoption house. So she lived there until she became a teen. She had no memory of her real parent and people find out that she cannot make any sound with her mouth. One day, a woman from the Masia came and adopted her and leave a huge donation to the adoption house. Ever since, a Sona life has changed. She so she sold so many albums because she have some kind of connection with her instrument and I don't know why she joined League of Legends like seriously guys come on so let's start with knowing about her ability her passive is power cord after she used three ability she have a ring around her the power of the ring around her depend on what sh skill she using now or last blue is dealing more damage on your next face attack Purple will slow them down on your next base attack, and green will lower the defense stat and dire damage on your next basic attack. So her Q is is Hem of Valor. She deal magic damage to the enemy minion and monster near her Q range, and her next base attack will getting stronger. And if any allies stand around <laughs> her Q range, the next auto attack will become stronger as well. Here's the Q map. Our W is area up. Perseverance. She basically heal herself and her ally in or near her W range and give her and her ally a shield. Her E is Song of Clarity. She basically give herself and her team a speed boot. That's it. Don't, uh, don't, no, no more question. And let's talk about her old. Her old is crescendo. She fire a straight line of music and a stop and make the enemies stop doing it. what are they doing? Dance. Yeah. So let's talk about why you do it. First you get a damage to her. Damage. Plus, when her passive is up with your Q, you do massive damage to the enemy team. You become the pain in the ass in the enemy team. So she have her W to heal your teammate. And if you have your passive, with W is your next base attack, you will lower the defensive and damage. And she have a speed boost. And the last thing is you have an AoE stun damage. The, she, and she basically have everything that the support will have. Uh, so let's talk about gameplay. In early games, I usually upgrade my Q card because I can hold it You never notice, but your Q deal a lot of damage. So, uh, so this is what I build on Sona. First, I get Eye of the Watcher. Second, I get Redemption as fast as I can. So that's the normal AP support item, right? And Next is Banshee Veil because why not? It actually is really good in my opinion. And the shoe I got is Ionian Boot. The only AP build I would actually buy is Lich Bane because you get stronger auto attack after you use the skill. But Lich Bane on Sona would be the pain in the ass for the team. 
And the last item is depend on the team. If they have more AD, buy Frozen Heart. If they have more AP, buy Spirit Visage. With this build, I could get both tanky and still deal a lot of damage. So this is my rune, mastery, and skill leveling. This is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys want more video like this, just ask me in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!